It's so good to see oh, you. It's so good to see that you. That was brilliant. I loved that. Oh, good. It was really, really fun. We, yes. Yeah. Very early. But it's about very waking good. Up, waking up in the morning. It's kind of like the modern version of 95. It is, isn't it? it? Really we actually is. do say 95, do your 95 exactly, on it as well. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So the music business changed a bit, hasn't it, since you first started out? It has changed quite a lot. But you've mm -hmm. changed. You've grown up too. Yes, absolutely. It's completely changed. It has been... 15 years since I first started with Girls Aloud, which is crazy. <laughs> and everything, there was no social media in those yeah. days. There was no streaming, no, Spotify. Look at that child. I was such a child. <laughs> I think I like left, came out to, from my GCSEs to go and do an audition for that. Um, it's but you were always, changed. yeah, it has changed, but you, the, the voice hasn't changed. You've always been a great singer. And as we said, live vocals, all yeah. these people tweeting and saying that was too good. No, that was live <laughs> yes, vocals. Yes, it was live. You were, always, you, were always singing, you were always the singer. You oh. know, in the band, you were always the singer. And that probably was partly how there was a little bit of sniping, which you were going to get with girls anyway. You're always going to get that, aren't you? But you know what? Boys are the same. Yeah, boys well, are, and boys can be even worse sometimes <laughs> because then they want to actually physically fight with one another. At least girls, it can be like, do it in a separate room. Let's, exactly. let's talk about one another when we're not face-to-face. -face. <laughs> exactly. Let's do it separately. <laughs> of course, of course. Do you ever see a time where you could all just have a laugh and maybe not necessarily perform but just all be in the same room have dinner and have a, have a bit of a giggle of course yeah. definitely i mean it's 15 years ago yeah. that we had began and done all of that and everybody grows up and everybody moves on and everybody has you know different priorities in life and and so I'm sure we can do that at some point. Oh, you have too. And... You've got all that shared history. Yeah. And there's kids now as well, of course, because your little one's, what, three? She's three, three Lorraine. Three years old, my, oh, my goodness. goodness. She's getting so big too. Hello, <laughs> hello, and I. <laughs> is she aware of her mum's background? Has she seen the Girls Loud videos? Does she, has she seen the new single and heard the new single? She did. And she kept saying, you know, when you have to leave to go to work, so I was going to the studio or going to do photo shoots, and she just doesn't get it. She's like, work? What, what does that work? <laughs> and then when she saw the video, right. she was like, Mommy, is this work? And I was like, yes, this is work. <laughs> well, one day's work. I don't do that every day. I know. So it's, it's she so sort of, she kind of got it then. Yeah, yeah, this course. is maybe what you do. And is the UK home now? Because obviously your, your partner is American. Yes. Um, do you, do, are you actually based here or do you just bounce backwards and forwards? Well, I have a place here. I've always, Ireland will always be home. Yeah. And then because I've been in London for so long, that is my second home. Right. And, you know, people have embraced me in London. I have great friends. You know, I can come and do great things like this and have a lovely time here so London is always home yeah. and then America's not going anywhere it's hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed it's no, <laughs> no, it's not. because you can you know and I'm sure people have told you before but you can hear the Irish obviously still in your accent of yes course. but there's a little bit of American do coming in there too. oh yeah a little bit oh. a wee twang a wee twang but that's obviously because you, you're with your husband all the time so you pick it up on it I think and definitely with, with my accent whenever I slow down which I'm trying to do for TV otherwise the tweets will be saying what is she talking about <laughs> so I'll slow it way down and when I slow it down I think it does get a bit of a, an American, American yeah, twang going on so, <laughs> like I said you were always the one that could sing I remember watching you um, you were only 16 years old and Louis Walsh saying you were too young Yes. You were too young. You had to come back, didn't you? You had to come back. Because you auditioned, you all did. You all auditioned as, as single performers. Solo yes. Performers. Uh huh. Yeah, that was the thing. You do it um, individually. Yeah. And then, and then the, the band just put together. Form, which yeah. just seems to be a thing that they don't really do anymore. There's not really like group auditions for. Yeah to be in a band. They kind of put them together, don't they? put them together. The they did with Little Mix in One Direction. Of yes. Of course they did that. Are you more comfortable as a solo artist or in a band? Is it strange not having... I mean, you know you've got your fantastic dancers with you. Oh, I love having those dancers. Which is, I wish they could be here right now, actually, that we they could all sit brought, here. Right? Wouldn't that be brought, class? Just sit, <laughs> we could, yeah. I love having them. So you do have that, you know, you meet in you know, the morning. It was early this morning. Everyone arrives, kind of sleepy and tired. <laughs> and it's like, hello, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm all right, how are you? So you have that feeling yeah. of camaraderie. So, and so you've got the girls around about. Yes, it yeah. does feel like. And I really enjoy that, I have mm. to say. I love having a group of people around and a team so sure. everybody kind of can enjoy it. Mm. And but it's good that together. you're doing it in your own right. You're doing it in your own right and on your own terms now, which is great. Go. Oh. That's what you want. Thank That's what you want. You. Now listen, tell me about Sarah, because Sarah and, and you are very close, I know. And she's going to hopefully be doing some more 
although Dan Wooten's not happy about it, but oh. she is going to be doing some you more know, music. I met Dan Wooten for the first time um, about a month ago, and he was so lovely. For years, I'd lovely. heard about him. <laughs> He was so, so nice, really sweet, like such a happy don't, face. Don't believe all those rumours, he's lovely. He was lovely. He was <laughs> he's a so, good guy, yeah. he's a good guy. But Sarah's hopefully bringing out some new material and you, you'll be there for her as a friend. Absolutely. I sometimes think she's a little bit vulnerable and she needs a cuddle. Yes, I mean, yeah. yes, Sarah and I, and um, we've obviously been in Girls Aloud together all of, of those years. Um, I don't see her all the time. I haven't seen her in a, in a long time. Yeah. Um, but definitely, she's somebody that I always want to, you know, be in contact with. And she and knows that she can phone and, you. She yes, knows that. she does. She can she phone you if she needs anything. You can phone her. That's that's a good relationship to have. Yes, definitely. That's good. And she won the Big Brother show. She which sure was did. Great. She sure did. <laughs> she sure did. Gosh, that was a strange. One day. <laughs> I, sometimes I wanted to just take her out of that house to get thinking, oh no, <sighs> get there. Listen, good luck to you with this new single. Of course, it's, it's doing incredibly well. You must be chuffed to bits. I'm over the moon. I'm so thankful to everybody for oh, just great. accepting it and having me back and really, really glad to be here. Excellent.